Alright guys, just uh, wanted to help you out if you're having any trouble with your 56 volt Ego lawnmower. My particular model is a 20 inch to LM2000. These are probably all built pretty much the same way. <clears throat> a lot of people um, sometimes they say that their motor just quits working. Uh, this is what the case was with mine when you when you push in this little button and you go to set this to get going. Uh, I would get nothing at least in my in my situation. Um, so a lot of times you take you take this whole assembly off and see what's going on in there. Sometimes there's a loose little uh, little pin that this kind of pushes down where you can get the little latch to push on the relay that's in here. It looks something like this it sits in there. When you push this lever down, it clicks this in to start the mower. Okay, so you can see if this thing is not, this key is not sitting properly on this, uh, 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 pushing down the little lever to where it gets the, uh, the bar to push on this. You can check this. There's uh, three relays you got to check out, or switches. So one sits up here. <clears throat> There's one in here too. It's a, a lot smaller relay that sits in here. Make sure that uh, it makes sure that your bar is all the extended in. Um, it's normally in the closed position. When it's open, that's when the, the it um, provides the full circuit, so you can uh, start your mower. What I did was just took off this little thing here, this little uh, thing that keeps it clicked in. So um, I can actually I can start the mower now with this even down, with this with this not even this bar not even lifted up all the way. I can set it up like that. So um, <clears throat> so I don't even have that on there anymore. So it just bypasses that little uh, safety switch. Now down here, this is the one that. Um, uh, I figured out was actually the problem with me my my situation right here sits this relay right here and this bar clicks this in to allow the motor to to get power right through here and <clears throat> I just uh, I didn't want it to kind of come off again and, or come come out of uh, alignment and not work so I just took this relay off there's nothing connected on these bottom little wires here, or connections. It's just this white one and the, the two red ones go right here. So you can see there's the white one and the two red ones. I just put them in a little uh, connector there. I soldered them and then I put that connector on there and I put some electrical tape around it. <clears throat> and that solved the problem. So uh, I did actually ended up buying another motor on eBay. This whole assembly here. I was lucky enough to get one of the whole wiring harness and the motor for like 69 bucks. But the uh, day before or yesterday I was waiting for it to come in. I was like, well, let me just go ahead and take this whole motor out. When I found this sitting in a jar like that and it wasn't making connection to this to click it in to allow me to start my mower. So uh, just look, at, look for a couple things. The alignment of this button uh, you have to take the screws off from underneath to open this whole section out you can check out this little area here uh, make sure it's uh, all um, it, it's it's allowing it to, um, to the, the switch to work I just took that little thing out I showed you earlier uh, this thing right here so I wouldn't even have to worry about it now I can have that set this bar set to any and any uh, setting I want or height and then this relay here now if all these are all okay <clears throat> uh, then it might just be your motor and here's where the a little battery sits in you can actually just take if you got a whole new motor and everything you could just hook it up to this and then uh, test out your new motor like I did on my, my eBay motor I just got but to take this off right here, it takes a lot of screws to take that out. There's a bunch of hidden ones, and uh, it takes a few minutes. But once you get it all set up and removed, you can test test out your um, little relays and see if everything's set up all right. 
I just like I said I just uh, skipped that one I took the one off of here that little clip I left that one on there just so I can turn off the mower if I needed to know the way to turn it off so that's it this is my little ego mower I wanted to help you out if you had some trouble with it maybe this will help you out uh, feel free to uh, comment or leave me any uh, ask me any questions and uh, I'll try to get back to you